Hi everyone, I'm Jenny. I'm an occupational therapist and I'm based in Australia. I thought I'd take the chance to quickly explain what is an occupational therapist and what is this occupational therapy that I'm going to be talking about. Well, we are professionals who've gone to university and trained and got a qualification and stuck that piece of paper up on the wall. But at the end of the day, we actually use activities to help people to achieve their goals. So that will look like doing an assessment a lot of the time. And that assessment could range from, hey, can you make a cup of tea and a bit of toast if someone's working in a hospital? Or it could mean sitting down and doing actual standardised clinical test with a piece of paper and a pencil and a timer and someone watching over your every move. So we do assessments. We then sit with you and talk to you about what your goals are. And those goals could be for yourself, could be for an elderly parent, and could be for a child. In my case, I work with kids primarily. And then what we do is we work out how we're going to help you to achieve those goals. And that means breaking down things into the, sometimes the tiniest portions you could ever imagine. So, for example, if I had a child who was really clumsy, I would actually have a look at what was causing that. Did they have a diagnosable condition? Or if this, or has this child just not had exposure to opportunities to play? Which I actually have had quite a few clients who have what I dubbed TB syndrome, jokingly, um, who were expected to sit all day quietly and do their schoolwork, then went home to an apartment, sat down, played computer games, did their homework and watched TV all night. And I was seeing some of these kids that were really struggling with simple ball games, simple playground games, struggling to do their shoelaces up, really having trouble with buttons still, unable to coordinate themselves enough to mop a floor, which kind of gets important when you grow up to be a big person. And so these are the kinds of things we look at. Can this person look after themselves? Can they do something for fun? Can they play, if you're a child, can you play in the playground with your friends? Do you understand all the rules? And when you start looking at playground games, they are complicated. And you have these evolving secret rules that everyone else keeps changing. And so that's something that we do a lot of work on. I particularly um, work with kids that have sensory processing disorder, which means I often see kids with autism. I see children that have developmental delays. I've seen a lot of kids who have fetal alcohol syndrome and um, other unknown genetic disorders. But at the end of the day, these kids have trouble doing what they need to be able to do to develop and thrive in their home environments. And there's a lot that we can do to help them. And that's what I'm going to be talking about over this next vlog series. So I hope you'll join me and I hope that we can explore the wonderful world of occupational therapy and sensory processing disorder over the next week. Thank you. Bye.